Ready to upload your release through a Muse? First, make sure you have your Wave audio file with the sampling rate at 44.1 kHz and 16-bit stereo. Your artwork needs to be a size of at least 3000 times 3000 pixels. All right, let's get started and fill in the details for your release. The release title is the name of your song, EP or album. If you have only one track, the release title must be the same as the track title. The label name is shown under the release in different stores. If you're a pro or Muse user and you have a label, input the name of your label. If you don't have a label or releasing without one, we use the artist's name as the default label, so leave the section blank if that's the case. The genre is simply the overall genre of your EP or album. If it's one song you're releasing, choose the genre that best fits the track. Now on to release language. Choose what language your release title is in. On to cover art. Upload your cover art by dragging and dropping it into this box. Make sure your cover art is a high resolution image with the dimensions 3000 times 3000 pixels. Basically, it can't be blurry or pixelated so that it's optimized for listening on more giant screens when it hits streaming stores. It cannot contain copyrighted brand logos or social media handles. And remember, if you have text on your artwork, it must match with the information provided in your release. When you're uploading your audio file, just drag and drop the WAV file into the box. You can either click on the box or drag and drop to select several or one track. If your file is an MP3, it won't be accepted. Once you've uploaded all of the tracks for the project, it's time to fill in the details for each track. In the track title field, correctly name the track, select what version the track is, if it's not an original first version. For example, if it's a remix, live version, or remastered version of your own song, make sure to name the version. The language section refers to the track title language. The language you selected for your release title will automatically be filled in. So if you're uploading an EP or album with a track that has a title in a different language, make sure to correct that here. Next, you will need to select if your track has vocals. Click no if it's an instrumental track. Click yes if your track has vocals and select the language your vocals are primarily in. For explicit content, if your track contains explicit language such as swearing, derogatory language, drug references, or anything of that nature, you will need to select explicit content. If the original of the track you're uploading contains explicit language, but this is the clean version, where the language has been replaced, click clean. If your track is clear of any explicit language, choose not explicit. Next, you will need to select the origin of the track. If it's an original recording or a remix of your own song, choose original. If it's a remix of someone else's song, meaning that someone else made the original and you remix the track, choose remix. If it's a cover of someone else's song, choose cover. Make sure you have a license if you're releasing a cover song. Reminder that for cover songs to be approved, all of the audio must be originally recorded by you rather than the original. If you don't have a license, the cover song won't be available in select countries where a license is required. You can read more about this in the article linked in the description below. In the ISRC section, use your own ISRC if the track you're uploading has been live on a different release, either through us or another distributor. If your mastering engineer or producer has provided you with one, enter that. Otherwise, leave this section blank and Amuse will assign you a new one. For TikTok, you will have the option to select what part of your song you want creators on TikTok to access. The drop-down will let you select the minute and second mark of your song that you want your sound to start at. One minute beyond the mark you select will be uploaded as a TikTok sound. A reminder that you're only able to upload your song to TikTok if you're on Boost or Pro. Next, you will input any artists, contributors and writers that have worked on the release with you. In the artist section, you will have yourself as the primary artist and add featured artists or a remixer. If the other artists you've input have other music live on Spotify already, make sure to choose yes in this section and input their Spotify profile link. For the contributor section, add the producer or mixer if they've worked on the release with you and again make sure to add their Spotify profile link if they have one. The same goes for writers, but this field is required to continue. If you brought in a songwriter to help you put down the lyrics for your track, include them. 
If you wrote the lyrics, put down your legal name in this section. For cover songs, make sure to put down the original writer. If you're only uploading one track, you're good to go. If you're uploading an EP or album, fill in the details for each track and order the track list by dragging each song into its right order. Once you've filled in all the details for the tracks included in your upload, you're ready to go on to the next step. If you want to remove a track, just click the delete button and press delete. On to splits. To save you the hassle of privately working out how to split royalties between you and any contributors on your release, work it out before you upload and input what percentage everyone should receive when they are paid out. To add your producer's split, click add person, enter their name, email and phone number and their royalties will automatically go into their own music account. For example, if you want to add splits for a featured artist and a producer on one of your tracks, work out your percentage splits beforehand and simply input them on that track. Make sure your percentage splits always add up to 100%. Repeat this for all your tracks where splits should be included. It's important to note here that the easiest way for your team to get their fair share they need to create or have an Amuse account. All receiving parties need to have an account on Amuse. If they have a start account, there'll be a 15% fee for splits. If they have Boost or Pro, splits will be commission free. If your team does not have an Amuse account, or if you don't have another collaborator, set the splits to 100%. Now to the best part, choosing where you want your release to be delivered to. When you click stores, you'll see here that all the stores Amuse delivers to have been automatically selected. If you do not want your release in a specific store, uncheck. It's important to note that select stores like Instagram and TikTok are only available to pro users. The same thing goes for countries. When you click here, all the countries that Amuse delivers to have been pre-selected, so again, you will have to uncheck any countries you don't want your music to be available in. Now choose your release date. If you're on Start, your release date will be pre-selected for you. If you're on Boost or Pro, you can schedule your release date. On Boost, you can release in 14 days and Pro in 10. If you would like your release out as soon as possible, select Fast Release. This feature is only available for Boost and Pro users. It's recommended that you choose a release date at least 14 days from today or more so that you have enough time to pitch your music to Spotify and Apple Music to get playlist placement. If you're on Boost or Pro, pre-save will be enabled so you'll be able to share your upcoming release with your fans ahead of time. On the release date, the release will then be automatically saved to their library and the artist will be followed. You will receive a pre-save link that will be available on the release details screen in the Amuse app once it's been delivered to the stores. If you're on Start, this feature will be disabled. If you haven't released this piece of work before, click No in the Original Release Date section. If you have, but through a different distributor, for example, click yes. And that's it. Do one last check that all the details are correct in your upload before sending your release out for review. When you've made sure all the details are correct, check I am completely sure I want to release music and hit that release button. Now you can sit back, relax, and check back in the Muse app as your release is being reviewed. You will receive an email or notification in the app if there is something that needs to be fixed with your release. Otherwise, get ready to spread the word about your upcoming release.